Today, the Tennessee legislature's special session on guns, which was called at the governor's request following a horrific mass shooting at an elementary school, adjourned without any meaningful gun reform. As the state house adjourned, chaos erupted in the gallery, with protesters chanting for Republican House Speaker Cameron Sexton to resign. <laughs> Now, you can see Representatives Justin Jones and Justin Pearson protesting on the floor as well. You'll recall that they are the two black representatives expelled in April for protesting gun reform and who recently won their seats back. Moments later, a scuffle appeared to break out between the speaker and Pearson. This comes after Representative Jones was officially silenced yesterday for talking out of order, bringing up mental health during a discussion of a bill allowing more law enforcement in schools. Jones had announced earlier in the day that he wanted to propose a vote of no confidence against the speaker. Representative Justin Jones joins me now. There's so much to unpack here, Representative Jones, but let's start with, let's start at the end, uh, this scuffle, because you all were expelled um, for having a, 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 a megaphone uh, on, the, on the House floor. The speaker seemed to my eyes to maybe have kind of assaulted uh, Representative Pearson. You could see him shove him. Is that not an offense that can lead to a vote of expulsion? Well, Joy, today is a very sad day for democracy in Tennessee. And all I can say is that the House is out of order under the leadership of Speaker Cameron Sexton. That is a very sad day that we adjourn without allowing members to speak. That we're going to talk about what happened after. But what led to this point was that they, the Republicans immediately ended session without passing any meaningful gun legislation. They shut down any conversation, any debate, even allowing us to do a moment of silence for UNC and, and immediately try to get out of session because they're afraid of public pressure. And so all session, Cameron Sexton has pushed mothers um, of covenant and mothers who've been impacted by gun violence and refused to hear the cries of the people of Tennessee um, asking for us to protect kids and not guns. And so you were silenced um, because you, and I saw the, the tape of it, you were talking about mental health as part of the legislation that you were pushing, right? Is that the reason you were silenced again? I was saying that my district is asking for more funding for mental health and counselors in schools to pay our teachers better, not for more police officers in schools. And for that, the speaker said I was speaking off topic and I was silenced for the remainder of session. And if I was ruled out of order today, the speaker had threatened that I would be silenced for up to three days and then the next offense would be indefinitely. And so we still see Cameron Sexton, the Speaker of the House, acting as an authoritarian and silencing members, particularly the two youngest black members, from speaking because he's so afraid to have a real conversation about guns to protect our children in Tennessee because he's so behold it to the NRA and the Tennessee Farms Association. You had uh, released a letter stipulating that you wanted a vote, you want a vote of, of no confidence in Speaker Sexton. And uh, I will just read some of it. It's from misrepresenting his residency. He doesn't live where he says he lives, where he's representing defrauding Tennessee taxpayers and wasting taxpayer money and other things. Talk about that. And do you think that is the real reason that you were silenced? Every member of my caucus knew that the reason why I was silenced by the speaker yesterday was because I was going to a motion for a vote of no confidence in the leadership of Speaker Cameron Sexton, which is why when he silenced me, every Democrat in our caucus walked out of the chamber and said, this is a, a charade, a facade of democracy. Uh, the Speaker was so afraid to have this vote of no confidence because he knows that he's leading Tennessee on the path of failure, humiliation, and authoritarianism. He is a disgrace as Speaker. He is somebody who does not deserve to be in the Speakership any longer. And it is sad that he doesn't even live in his district. The people of Crossville deserve someone who actually lives in their district representing them instead of this wannabe dictator. Um, Cameron Sexton. Where does this vote, this uh, push for a vote, no confidence vote, go from here? I will bring it back up in January, the first day of session. He ended session today. I, I sought to be recognized. I raised my hand. I said, will it be appropriate to make a motion of, of no confidence in the speaker? He immediately called on his Republican um, flunky to make a motion to adjourn. And so we're not coming back until January, Joy. They're so cowardice that the speaker won't even speak to the people. He won't speak to the mothers of covenant who had their children terrorized, and some of them lost their children because of a mass shooter. And he won't allow members to speak. He is not a someone who is courageous. He's someone who is a very small personality, who's very fragile in his 
power. And if he was confident in his speakership, he would allow me to make a motion of no confidence in his leadership. But he refused to because he was afraid because he knows that even his own Republican members are tired of his foolishness here in Tennessee. Uh, what, uh, and we also know that he removed uh, mo mothers who were just holding signs quietly, uh, as you had said that he would uh, or was planning to, and uh, let people have guns in. Uh, the hearing rooms. Where stands your committees? The last time you were on, you had not, you had been denied uh, being restored to your committees. E Eric Holder is representing you. Where stands that? We're still waiting to hear back if I'll be restored to my committees for the regular session. Cameron likes to play, uh, the speaker likes to play uh, games of, of manipulation with his power, but he knows that whether he gives me my committee assignments or not, I will speak for the District 52 um, constituents who sent me here overwhelmingly to be a bold voice for change, to protect kids and not guns, to ban assault weapons, to ban high-capacity magazines, to fight for a community that is at peace with itself. And so I'll continue to be a voice for my district, and Cameron Sexton's time is limited as speaker, and we know that his uh, power is fading. I will reiterate our uh, offer to Cameron Sexton to come on this show and defend what does seem to be uh, the end of democracy in the state of Tennessee, at least as regards the, the House, the State House. Tennessee State Representative Justin Jones, thank you very much. And we'll be right back. Thank you.